Hello, hello. So I have to get creative today and make this video on my phone in selfie mode. All of my videos have been made on my phone. Um, I don't have any fancy equipment and have never edited anything. So bear with me here. This video today is going to be a repotting of a plant that I propagated, which is the ZZ plant. In prior videos, you can scroll through and see when I originally did this, but I'm gonna skip that part and I'm just gonna go right to the repotting and I'm gonna explain why I am repotting this in January. And that is, I've made an error. I don't know if you can see here, but this soil is way too wet and that is not good for the ZZ plant. So I need to get it out of this tin can which is what I originally put it in um, when I propagated. And I need to put it in a more draining container. I did nail holes in the bottom of this tin can in which I painted, but it's just retaining way too much moisture. So what I'm gonna do is improvise. <laughs> I am clearly out of flower pots because I have too many plants. Although, I don't think one can have too many indoor house plants. Um, but at the time, I'm out of flower pots. So, I have taken a nursery pot in which another plant originally came in. I usually hold on to these because they're great to bottom water plants in. But anyway, I took this and I took a pair of handy dandy scissors and cut some holes in the sides simply by folding and snipping so that they make a little V. I have these all the way around. And then I cut two holes at the bottom, okay? And then I have a broken terracotta flower pot and I put two pieces of that at the bottom just so it adds a little weight to it because this is really lightweight and flimsy. And then I put in my soil I added to my organic potting soil a small amount of activated charcoal, stirred all that up, and now comes time to repot this. Yay! I'm not sure where I'm going to sit this to where you can see um, because you are looking at my sink. All right, let's try this here. So I'm going to set this down. Oh boy, you can't see it all, can you? Won't, won't, won't. Trial and error, my friends. Okay back 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 it up all right here we go sorry um, we are going to repot this simply by let me grab a paper sack okay or a plastic bag I'm gonna put this on a plastic bag to try to cut down on the mess that I'm gonna make because I am notorious for making messes so we're gonna pop this out of here, and because the soil is so very wet, this should be very easy. I'm going to hold on to the stem and simply turn this over and hit it on the bottom, and the original soil is gonna pop out. I do not want to damage the roots. However, I do not wanna have all that soil in with the new either. So I'm gonna very carefully hold this stem while I tap the soil out and there we go okay so that plant has been freed from the soil I am just kind of ashamed of myself on how overwatered this is I want to show you the roots oh they look so good can you see that I hope my lighting is not the best here um, but this has a great root system I'm so proud and you can see this big tuber in which it retains the water hopefully you can see there you go so I need to put this in its new home so we have one two three four five roots and it looks like a new shoot is starting here oh my goodness I'm so proud um, again if you want to see the original video um, you can scroll back through because I happen to make one, but 
Um, as you know, if you know anything about ZZ plants, it takes a really long time for these plants to propagate. So it does take a great deal of patience. Look how wet this was. Oh my, I could probably even wring this. Oh my goodness. Wow. If I wouldn't have repotted this, this thing would have struggled a great deal. Um, and potentially would have croaked. Oh gosh. Anyway, um... Yeah, you do not want to overwater ZZ plant. I'm going to just slide this to the side um, and then move over the new pot I'm going to plant it in, which this is large, quite large, um, but it's what I have. So I'm going to use what I have. And this soil here, I'm just going to dig a hole in the center with my hand. And then I'm going to ever so gently put the roots down, I'm gonna try not to disturb the roots. Put this easy plant down in there, and I'm just gonna simply cover it up with my hands. I know a lot of people wear gloves. I probably should have gloves on, um, but I don't, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add some more soil to this. It looks kind of pitiful, like all tipped over to the side, but let me show you what I'm gonna set this down in. Which I think will be quite pretty when I'm done. All right, let me rinse off my hands. There we go. Okay, sorry. I kind of need a camera boy, don't I? All right, so here we go. I am gonna add some more soil, which I keep my soil in a recycled Epsom salt container. From moons ago, my kiddos decorated it for me. And like I told you, I mixed it with some activated charcoal. And that way, whenever I'm ready to use it, it's already ready to go. So I'm just gonna add some more soil to this so it gives a little more stability. There we go. And the kind of potting soil that I like is the organic black gold. Um, however, um, in the state that I live in, during the winter, the um, options are quite scarce. Um, I went to Walmart and tried to purchase some soil and they didn't have any. So I just ordered some online, but um, I'm not particularly choosy about soil. I do like to get organic when possible, but I do prefer to add some of my activated charcoal to all of the soil that I use. And I do like worm castings too, but that's yet another video for another day. Okay, so this is what we have here. This easy plant has been repotted, and as you've seen, I just very gently press down around the plant, and it's in its new home. And I will not water this. Um, I'm gonna kind of tap the sides here. I will not water this simply because I feel like I've put this thing through quite a lot. It stores its water in the tubers, and clearly it was overwatered from the get-go. So I'm gonna just um, put it in here, and then for the sake of it looking as good as I can get it, I am going to put it in this um, stone, oh, what do you call it, Yule pot that I have, container, that's probably not the right word, but anyway. I'm gonna put it in there and then I put a bow around it. Um, but this is what it looks like now. And these ZZ plants, if you've not um, seen them, they do get quite large. I have several of them and I love them so much. They're probably like the most low maintenance plant that I have. Um, but this is what we have, guys. All right, I, I don't even know if you can see that. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Again, I'm making this video on selfie mode with my phone, completely old school. So there we go, that's what we have. Repotting of the ZZ plant. And I hope that you guys are all doing well. Have a great day, bye.